about to see started on a humid night at 2 a.m. Eh, maybe 3. It was a Tuesday night. Or was it Monday? I guess it was Tuesday. Ah, what's the difference? I'm a private detective. My name is Walker. This man's name is John Dortmund. He's a professional thief. Would you believe, semi-professional. This is Andrew Kelp. Kelp's cautious, calculating, cunning, and just ruined a perfectly good pair of hush puppies. Hurt that really hurts. Son of a get out of here. No, I gotta talk to you. May told me where you were. Hey, I'm busy. Can't wait till tomorrow. What? I said can't wait till tomorrow. No, I don't want to take any chances. You might get caught tonight. I'm not gonna get caught if you get the hell out of here. Hey, how about turn it off down there so we can get some sleep? I'm talking to my friend down here, pal. So why don't you just butt out? Look, I gotta get plenty for work. Do you want me to come down there and punch you guys out? What? Hey, hey, hey! Why don't you shut up? You're louder than they are. Yeah, tell them. You keep out of this, Tubby. Hey, shut up down there. I got. It's not loud mouth, no class. Bum down there. Like What'd you say? It's not loud mouth. Hope you're not going to blame me for this. <sighs> simple burglary, you come along. I can't even do a simple burglary. Come on, John, don't walk so fast, huh? You know, you're bad luck. You're nothing but a jinx. How are you getting home tonight? <sighs> the bus. If the job went right tonight, I was going to take a cab. Still don't drive. Boy, when you get a hang-up, you really hang on to it. Hey, you know, when you're sitting behind the wheel of a semi, and your partner pushes you off a 300-foot bridge, you don't forget so fast. I said I was sorry. Yeah. Come on, give me right home. No, no, no. John, this is not such a great neighborhood, you know. There are a lot of crooks around here. You could get held up, you could lose all your burglar tools. Come on. This one will do. Bingo. Shh. That hurt. Soon you're going to realize, John, it's not a good idea to blame me for everything that happens. Ah. All right, let's go. 
Let's get to what's on that small mind of yours. John, get set to admire the hell out of me. Here, this is it. A book, Child Heist. Child Heist? You gotta be kidding. John, this time we're not gonna miss. Oh, come on, stop the car. Let me out of here. No. Pull over. No. Let me out of this car. Oh. I want help. I want John. help. John. Let me out. I never stole a Dodge before. I hope it gets good gas mileage. Rule one of a child heist. Find a child whose parents want him back. One lives here with his parents, Herb and Nina. This is Maurice, the chauffeur. He's much more nearsighted than he looks. Actually, those aren't glasses, they're contact lenses. Maurice is ready with the car, Jimmy. Thanks, Pearl. Be right out. I hope you like that broccoli and salmon, because it was a pain in the butt to make it. It's my favorite. I'm into protein. Hey, what is this? Getting in touch with the real you. I don't get you, rich kids. You got everything in the world, and yet it's still not enough. You don't understand, Pearl. I don't know what the real me is about. I know I'm supposed to be a kid, but I don't feel like one. I'm not even sure I want to be one. Well, that's why you go to the shrink three times a week. I don't know, Pearl. If life is complicated for me at 12, what's going to happen when I'm 15 and over the hill? Over the hill? Boy, you are a slow reader. What do you think? It might make a good movie. Don't you see what we've got here, Johnny? The damn book is a blueprint. All we've got to do is follow it. I don't know, Andy. I mean, it's kidnapping, you know? That's not our style. We'd never hurt the kid. They make a real point of that in the book. And see, the cops wouldn't be so hard on us later on if we gave the kid back and he was happy and unharmed. Mm-hmm. I read it. Where'd you get this book, anyway? The prison library. During that three months I got for selling phony burglar alarms. I don't like it. First of all, the caper takes place in New York. Well, we got to do it here. I mean, do you know how much it would cost to fly to New York? Another thing, there's a lot of driving in that, and I won't drive. You don't have to. I drive, and my mother drives. You're not bringing her into it. You know how bad she'd feel if we left her out? Besides, crime is all she has to live for since Pa died. Your pa's a lucky man. I'm so mixed up, I can't even write anymore. What are you writing now? It's an autobiography, but I'm having trouble with the beginning. You see, Maurice, I just don't fit in with kids. I know on the outside I look like one, but on the inside, something's gone wrong. Well, maybe you're just making up for your parents. They're in such a childish business, you know? You think so? Maybe. Red light, Maurice. You got to get thicker glasses. Huh? Yeah? How would you like to come to my 13th birthday party? Oh, you betcha. So would I. Get thicker glasses. Right. An apartment building in Tucson, and you sign right there. Good, 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 good. I love apartment buildings. My Herbie loves apartment buildings. A shopping center in Chicago. I love it. I love it. Oh, Herbie loves shopping centers. <laughs> And a fried chicken franchise? That I don't love. Herbie hates chicken. Kill the chicken. Hello, loved ones. Oh, it's our little cute uh, How you doing, big fella? Hi, Jimmy. Hello, Mr. Kibble. We're so glad you came, Cupcake. Would I miss a hometown performance of my favorite mom and dad? Mm. Oh, my little apple dumpling. Mm. Hey, how you doing, sugar man? With all this sweet talk, it's a one right on get a hackney. <laughs> You've been waiting for the man, and now you're gonna get him. Herb and Nina. Good man. Kids in the 
to do that. Oh. Sorry. How'd it go? Please, don't ask. I don't want to depress you. Um, Kelp called again to see if maybe you changed your mind. He's going to do it without you. Good. No, I don't think so. I keep thinking about the kid. What if he goes in with somebody who wouldn't be so nice to the kid? Wait a minute. Now, you want me to do it? Yeah. So you can take care of the kid. Partly. But also because of these late night burglaries, I don't think they're so good for you. Yeah, well, tonight sure wasn't. Took me two hours to break into an empty jewelry store. Empty? Yeah, they went out of business last week. Mm. See, you need one major job a year that you can take some time on and do right. You feel a lot more comfortable with so many in the bank. Yeah. The trouble is, no cash around anymore. You Open up a cash register, and there's nothing in there but credit card receipts and checks. I worry about you, Johnny. And now I worry about that helpless little kid, whoever he is. Oh, me. I knew you'd come in with me, Johnny. It was just too good a thing to pass up. It was May's idea. Uh, smart lady. I'm not so sure. Anyway, according to the book, the first thing we have to do is find the right rich kid. Ah, I got him. I've been watching him now for three solid weeks. He fits the bill, except for one thing. It's not white. You didn't pick a rich white one? I didn't know he wasn't a rich white one until I got the binoculars. Three days in Knoxville. Three days in Nashville, two days in Louisville, a couple of days in a couple of other villes, and we're home. <laughs> we'll no, call you no. every day. Oh, yeah. mm. Terrific, terrific. A cement factory in Detroit? I love it. Don't worry about me, Mom. I can take care of myself. Uh -huh. I got That's a pile good. of reading to catch up on. You know, sugar cakes, you should have Maurice drive you to the park. Or maybe you'll make some friends. A chain of Greek restaurants in Kansas? Out of sight. Buy it. I love Greek food. Well, maybe if you just have Maurice drive you uh -huh. past the playground and just oh, took a look. No. I'm not going to any playground. How much the is? last time I went to a playground, I got on a teeter-totter with a fat girl and ended up across the street. A South American fruit company. Hey, Dad. Dad. Just a minute. I read in Newsweek that there's a new fly down there that loves bananas. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Kimball, forget the fruit. They got flies. Bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot, son. You're welcome, Dad. <laughs> His fault. His fault. Dad, have you ever thought about retiring, Maurice? Yeah, but you know, Maurice saved my life back in Chicago. You remember that? Come on, Dad. He ran over that mugger by accident. My cat. Well, there's four of us, so that'd be a quarter each. What about Sonny's days? Don't start in with Sonny. Mine. I want to hear about Sonny. 
You're still jealous of him, aren't you? You're still jealous of your brother. I'm not jealous of Sonny. Well, then why won't you give him his cut? Because he's in jail, Ma. He's been in jail for six years and he'll be in jail for six more. Sonny never would have done that. So Andrew Kelp, a man whose high school class had voted him most likely to become a washroom attendant, a man who planned to use his share of the heist to check into the Mayo Clinic and have the air let out of his head. This man was about to put his plan into effect. According to the book, you gotta pick a kid with consistent habits. Now, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, like clockwork, he goes from there... <laughs> To over here. How come? I don't know. In the book, it was because he was going to a speech therapist. The important thing to remember is three times a week, the routine remains the same. Hey, listen, the next time you lift the car, can you get one a little bigger with some leg room? I don't know. I'm real comfortable. Besides, I kind of like the sporty image. Well, I don't like it. And that smell inside is terrible. What smell? That real sweet smell, it's like uh, lilacs or something. It makes me sick. Oh, that's my aftershave. I'll tell you, I have a real hopeful feeling about this whole operation, Johnny boy. Ah, oh, she's flooded. Give it a few minutes. No, I got a gut feeling that says nothing is going to go wrong. And I have never had that feeling before about any other caper. You're in a no parking zone, sir. Did you hear me, fella? Yeah, we heard you. It's just, well, uh, I, I sort of got a dizzy spell. That's why I stopped. Uh, but it's better now. I feel better, don't I, John? Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Nice to see you. Just a minute. What? What's that smell? That sweet smell? That's my aftershave. I swear to God, that's all it is. Here, smell me. Well, just a minute. What if he asks for the license and the registration? Throw ourselves at the mercy of the court? Okay. You guys won't get out of the car now. Maybe we could ask for adjoining cells, huh, John? Just act natural. Let me see your driver's license and registration. Sorry. How about a check guarantee card? Yeah. For the past few weeks, every time I come into the city, I get the feeling someone's watching me. Mm -hmm. a, a very special kind of watching, the way a cat watches a mouse. I have a cat at home. Do you like cats? I don't think I'm paranoid, but it makes me feel kind of paranoid. You know what I mean? Did you ever want to have a pony? No, never. I did. Never got one. Left many scars. I get the feeling of strange eyes on me. Like when you're staring at a good-looking girl and suddenly she stares back at you and out of guilt you turn away, but the eye contact was made, you know what I mean? Aha! Now, you have women on your mind. I think we are getting something here. Although I would welcome the encounter, I don't think my problem is women. You don't? No. Well, that's too bad. I thought we had something there. I hope you're not going to take offense again. I don't like to be confused. Oh, no, don't be silly. I mean, why would I confuse you? You are here so that I can unconfuse you. About what? About whatever it is that confuses you. Your psyche has omitted your childhood and gone directly to midlife crisis. You must try to enjoy being a kid. How would you like to go to the circus with me? I don't like circuses. You don't like circuses? What about clowns? What about elephants? Elephants I like. Oh. Except when they die and you have to bury them. Mm -hmm. Now, the truck is here. 
the school bus right there, the van here, and the detour sign there. Now, do you all have it? Do you want me to go over it again? No, we got it, John. We got it. Okay, and May's going to get the supplies that the book says we need. Except the cots. Oh, uh, I'll get the cots, and I got the gun. Well, I really don't think we need a gun, Andy. The book says we need a gun. We need a gun. We go by the book, right, John? Uh, Bernice, did you get the masks? You know, they were a buck fifty each. I'll tell you about that Walt Disney. He's got the kids by the balls. Uh, a kelp. How about that uh, deserted farmhouse? Uh, I got one this afternoon. And it's not that easy finding a deserted anything around here. People are buying up everything. That's where my share is going. Right into real estate. <laughs> You're crazy. Sonny says the only thing makes sense are T-bills. the hell does he know? I mean, it's four years before he's even up for parole. Are we planning a caper here or what? Well, she's starting in with that Sonny crap. I mean, she hardly knows him. He spent half his life in jail. He's so jealous of his brother. Mm. Now, Kelp, would you like to show us where the farmhouse is? Ah, uh, well, it's difficult to explain. Real easy to find. Well, then find it. All right. It's right here. No, that's not it. I'm sorry. Um... Right here. It's right there. No, that's not it. So help me, May. This is the last time with him. Last time. Ha! Ha! Here. Oh. Oh. That's it. That's it. Oh. Meanwhile, as the vice tightened, the kid was seeing his shrink. At 70 bucks an hour, Kelp and Dortmunder aren't the only ones who should be under arrest. I am up and I am excited. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Because at our last session, we established a great breakthrough. We did? Yes, we concluded that you were confused. No, we concluded that you were confused. I was confused? I thought that you thought that there was a cat watching you. <laughs> no, I didn't see a cat was watching me. I thought someone was watching me. I simply used a cat as an example. Well, then that puts things in a different light. Dr. Stevens, I think this is a waste of time for both of us, especially me. Bite your tongue until you learn to enjoy roller skating and baseball games and carnival rides. You're not a normal kid. And I'm going to tell you once, and don't you ever forget it. Albert Einstein loved the circus. What's that supposed to mean? Simply that inside all of us, there's a little kid, even in you. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Oh, you like that. And I thought I was an only child. Move over. <laughs> Today's the day, John. This is it. D-Day. We're the top gung-ho, Geronimo. Open the door. I can't find the key. What do you mean you can't find a key? I don't know. Maybe I gave it to you. Why no. would you give it to me? I don't know why. You know, sometimes you intimidate me. Come on, find the keys. We're late. All right. Ah! We're stuck in this candy. Want a bite? Come on, let's go. Right. You know, you gotta take it easy, John. You're gonna give yourself a nervous breakdown. Ah. All right, all right. I'm ready. You see what I did with the key? Thank you, John. Let's go. Let's move. We're going to be down here any minute. Now, Johnny picked a really great day for this kind of thing. Come on. Ah, oh, Kelp, you dodo! What I do now? Look at the way you spelt detour. Oh, you're right. I left that one of the R's. Ah, it's D-E-T-O-U-R. Well, if you're going to nitpick. Man, I hate it when things aren't perfect on a job. You know, actually, look at the bright side of things, John. It's better this way. I mean, who's going to think that a bunch of crooks would ever paint a sign and spell it wrong? Oh, 
Oh, come on. Maurice. What? Did you like the circus when you were a kid? Oh, I love the circus. You and Albert Einstein. I don't see the connection. Look at that sign. I didn't paint it. I'm not responsible for the spelling. Oh, here they come. all over we ought to get a group picture let's go you got it i think i hear him yeah put your mask on great doing in the middle of the road is that a truck i knew it was something i don't see no driver or kids on that bus hey anybody in there hey! oh, you drive like a schmuck well i got you here didn't i we're blocked in here Hi, young man. Do you know whose face is this I'm wearing? What? A mouse? All right, open up. It's a bust. Oh. Excuse me. I have to use the phone. Operator, get me the police. Hey, give me that. Okay, but no long distance calls. I said open the door. It's open, stupid. Huh? In the book, it was locked. I better handle the gun. Right. Look out! John... Don't be a baby. There are no bullets in the gun. What? The use of that mask is a perversion of everything that noble and lovable Roden represents. I find it grotesque and horrifying. We're in luck. Why? The kid's afraid of mice. All right, Ma. Let it down. What are we going to do? Well, first we're going to lower the back door of that truck. What'd I hit? What's the second thing you're gonna do? The second thing we're gonna do is drive the limo up the ramp and hide it in the truck. Hey! Who oh. oh, planned this thing? The Three Stooges? The truck is too short. No, John, the car is too long. This is all your fault. Now roll back down. All right. Boy, the traffic is sure rough around here. I hope you're covered for this. Hey, what's the delay? This is nice inside here. I've never been in one of these things before. A dog? Oh, my eye doctor will never believe this. I'd better answer it. Play it like everything's okay. No funny business. Gotcha. And hold it away from your ear so we can all hear what they're saying. Why did I just put it on the loud box? Good idea. Uh, hello? Hello, Ginger Snap. Guess what? We're home. It's my mother. Shit. 
What's the matter? I thought I heard Jimmy say shit. Oh, good for him. He's finally talking like a kid. What's going on, Raisin Eyes? Who's that in the car with you? Shh. Uh, just me and Maurice and four people with masks. Oh, I quit. Wait a minute. All right, who am I talking to? I'm Jimmy's mother. What's going on there? Just listen and listen quietly. Nothing's wrong. We're just heisting your kid for ransom. And you're going to hear from us later. <sighs> I thought you said the farmhouse was 20 minutes away. We've been driving for hours. I knew it. You got us lost. We are not lost. Hey, we're getting close. That gas station looks familiar. It should. That's the third time we passed it. Sonny should be driving. He has a perfect sense of direction. How would you like to get out and walk, Ma? Lost. You got us lost. Listen, why don't we stop and ask a cop for directions? Oh, that's a good idea. Seemed like a good idea. I don't understand. It's been several hours. I don't know what to think anymore. I'm so worried. Relax. They'll call. I deal with situations like this every day. You sure you told us everything? Oh, everything I remember, Mr. Walker. They had guns and masks. It, it was so well planned, like it was written out. I was really impressed. Good. Yeah, it seems like we're dealing with professionals here. That's good, that's good. Good. Uh, that means your boy is safe. Person is always better off being snatched by professionals, if at all possible. I still think we should call the police. Please, please, Mrs. Lovejoy, these people told your chauffeur, no police. Now, seeing as your husband owns my detective agency, calling me in was the smartest thing you could do. Are you all right? Of course. I'm trained to do that. This is it. Finally. Come on. Ah, he's asleep. We don't need these. Right. You help Ma, I'll get the kids. Kids on the bathroom! Uh, well, there is none. Huh? Oh, no crap. Where do I do the crossword? Also, no electricity. Why do you think I rented it so cheap? You rented it? With an option to buy. Get Like that. Well, Mrs. Lovejoy, I can give you a pretty good picture of the kidnapper. Really? Oh, wait a minute, Walker. You said kidnapper. Does that mean you don't think it's a gang? Uh-uh. One man. A cool, calculating professional. A genius at organization and planning. A loner. No family. No friends. High IQ. Snappy dresser. Probably reads a lot of books and is a full-blooded Cherokee Indian. That's unbelievable. Yes. You don't see too many full-blooded Cherokee Indians that are snappy dresses. I'm hungry. Hey, why don't we stop at McDonald's? Would you like that, Jimmy? I'm in the health food. Can I take your order, please? I have two uh, sure. cheeseburgers. Um, I think I'll have, uh, chopped beef steak with that one. Come on, right. Uh, That's real good. Oh, 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 Listen, oh, that bourbon straight up and fries. Ma. <laughs> uh.
This is it, John. No doubt about it. I'm almost sure. You better be. Well, I ain't getting out till you make sure it's the right farmhouse. Me neither. If you only knew how a old lady hates wet panties. Oh. Dark, but dry. What a dump! John, it's a deserted farmhouse. It's not the Holiday Inn. Come on. Did you bring an extra pair of socks? I got it. I got it. The damn rain ruined my mask. You don't need it. They put the kid to bed. I hope it didn't ruin the TV. No, that's good. It works on batteries. It was a gift from Sonny. Sonny? What do you mean, Sonny? I stole this for you last Christmas, Ma. Oh, you and your Christmas. No, I didn't. Yeah, you ever you two anything. start to fight, you're both going to sleep out in the rain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, we still got to dump the van and call it Tim's parents. I hate my brother, you know that? I hate him. I'm glad I turned him in. I got you some pajamas and a robe. Your mask's all. Yeah, fell apart in the rain. Try not to look. And here's some comic books. I never read comic books before. Archie and Jughead? Oh, there are a bunch of great teenagers who have lots of fun all the time. I used to love them when I was your age. They're still in high school? Obviously, they're not very bright. Yeah. Hey, I'll leave you the flashlight so you can read them in bed. <laughs> Listen, Jimmy, I don't want you to be afraid or worry or anything, because we wouldn't hurt you for the world. Oh, don't worry. I'm not the least bit afraid. You've all made a very good first impression. Really? How nice of you to say that. And when I find out when visiting days are at Sing Sing, I'll come and visit you. What a nice kid. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Picked up a nice wagon, huh? Yeah, but did you have to steal one with this attached? I can't get it off. Besides, John, it's an outhouse. It'll come in handy if we ever get stuck in traffic. <laughs> hey. You mind? Go sit in the car. I want to make sure everything goes smooth. It will if you sit in the car. John, it says in the book, and they both made the phone call. Mr. Walker, just how many employees do you have in your agency? Your agency, Herb. Oh, yeah, my agency. Uh, well, let me see now. We've got uh, Lenny, we've got Sheldon, we've got Willie. How many is that so far? Three. Three, three. Well, we're missing one. Oh, I left out Alice. A girl? No, he's from San Francisco. All right, now I want you to do exactly as I tell you. I want you to pick up this phone, put it to your ear, and say, Hello. That's what I was going to do. Good. We're thinking alike. Yeah? Is this the Lovejoy residence? Yeah. Is this the kidnappers? Yeah, this is the kidnappers, and this is the phone call. The what? The phone call. We're the kidnappers. I, I'm a kidnapper, and this is the phone call to let you know all that. I know all that. Oh. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Right. Hello? He better take it from Hello? Me. Good. Just a minute. Uh, page 47. Hello? Your Bobby's fine and... Bobby? Jimmy. Jimmy. You Bobby's sure you're a the right kid Jimmy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean Bobby. It's Jimmy. Your Jimmy is fine and he'll stay fine as long as you cooperate. Of course. Well, it will cost you. How does 500,000 sound? Cash? Yeah, of course cash. But suppose we work it out this way. $250,000 cash, 20% of a cement factory, and a dozen free meals in a Greek restaurant. Herb, your three minutes are up. Deposit another 20 cents. Operator, I wasn't on a phone for three minutes. They're talking from a pay phone. Good. Stall it. I'm having the call traced. Minutes, you know, you phone company people are crooks. You know that? John, why don't you just put another coin in? We'll take it out of mom's share. The principal. I wasn't talking those three minutes. Good. All right. Operator, why don't you take their name and address and mail them the extra money? That's a good idea. It's J 
Oh, you think I'm a dummy, huh? Here's your quarter. Let's get this over with. You were going to take $20,000 cash, 16 bags of cement, and 800 Greek meals in Kansas. I'm going to pay them what they want so we can get him back. Baby, he told me to stall them. Look, the book says 500000 and that's what I want. What are you doing? It's hot in here. Get... Wait, look. Just put 500000 in a suitcase, and we'll call you tomorrow for the next instruction. By the way, just in case you've forgotten, kidnapping is a federal offense. Just thought I'd ruin their day. That book didn't say anything about this being a federal offense. I tore out that page. Hello, Alice. Not now, Alice. Did you get the number? Good. the number. Okay, track them down and we'll surround the place. Walker, this is our number. Oh, thank you, Herb. I'll give you a call as soon as I know something. Oh, it's amazing how, how perfect everything's almost going, isn't it? Maybe I ought to go check on Jimmy. No, no, let him be. If he's having any problems, we would have heard. I don't think he's exactly the shy type. Yeah, at first I was so worried he'd start to cry or something, but he seems really different, you know? He seems to be so mature. I don't know, Johnny. He just doesn't seem to be as nervous about this job as we are. He reminded me of Sonny when he was that age. When Sonny was that age, he was in reform school. Good I am with this. It really paid off reading Escape from Devil's Island. Yeah, it's like a fantasy, but I guess I don't know. I just take every day as it comes. So yeah, you haven't you haven't been impressed with all. I the, uh, can't sleep if the TV's on all night. No. Want to make sure there's nothing on the news. We watched the news and there was nothing. Well, there could be a news bulletin. I'm not going to sleep without Johnny Carson. Oh, please, God, don't let me meet up with a rattlesnake. That goes off, or I'm calling it quit. That's not fair. God, you're going to wake up the kid. Yeah. It's a good idea. We're listening. Now be quiet. Oh, but yesterday when you... You guys are going to wake up the kid. I don't care. He always does it every time we go. I don't do anything. Good job. I'm talking to you. I'm going home. Going home. Oh, Lord. I'm going home. And maybe not. Neighbors. Somebody's at the door. What are we gonna do? Answer it. If it's the cops, 
keep them talking long enough for us to get away. Right. Somebody open the door before they wake up the kid. Where's my gun? I'll keep you covered. There's no one out here. There is down here. It's the kid. It's the wet kid. Let me in. Oh, don't let them see our faces. Masks! Masks! How did you get out there? I sleepwalk. You know, this is not the easiest house to escape from. I got lost out there. I can't find my mask. Where is my mask? I wouldn't worry about your mask. I already know what you look like. I don't believe you. I saw all of you through a crack in the window. You look like a young version of Roderick Crawford. Only not so cute. You look like a used car salesman who hates his job. You look like a potato with hair. And you, you're a looker. I could go for you. Bernice, get it, hey, PJ. We'll be back to our movie, Miracle on 34th Street, in a moment. Oh, Miracle on 34th Street. I love classics. Mind if I watch? No. I'm not going to sit up all night with a pillowcase on my head. I told you, I already saw you. But if you let me watch the program, I promise that if you're caught, I won't identify any of them. Well, I don't know. What do you think? I trust him. Smart. That's why I hear the stuff. It's oh, not thanks. the way it's done in the book. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Please, you're soaked, you know. That's all right. I'm all wash and wear. Oh, if you don't mind, I'll put on the bottoms myself. I'm leaving my mask on. The book says, leave your mask on. I'm leaving mine on. The post office is delivered. Therefore, the post office department Ta-da! Well, I bought him a little bit because I figured you'd grow. How long you plan on keeping me? Come on, Dan, dear. I'll keep you warm. <clears throat> this is a terrific movie. I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. This is not the way it's done in the book. Thanks for letting me sleep in here. Well, we wouldn't want you escaping and getting all wet and lost again. <laughs> it was fun trying. Hey, don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Pretty soon you'll be back home playing with your friends. Oh, I don't play that much. As a matter of fact, this is the most playing I can remember doing. And I really don't have that many friends. You know, not a lot of friends. Well, I guess I mean not any friends. I don't believe it. A nice, likable kid like you. What do you do with yourself? You know, I read a lot. I think a lot. I go to a psychiatrist a lot. A psychiatrist? What do you need a psychiatrist for? And I guess to find out why I'm not having any fun. Really? Well, what do you consider fun? I don't know. Just seems to be it. No kidding. Gee, now I don't feel so bad. Good night, May. Good night, Jimmy. This kid really makes this job sort of special. Yeah. If I didn't go into crime, my next choice was show business. What can you do? Oh, I was gonna rip off a guitar, take a few lessons. I don't know what I want to do when I grow up and get older, whichever comes first. One day I want to go into laser research, and the next day I want to investigate computer technology. Whatever happened to the good old days when a kid just wanted to be a policeman or a fireman? Not a policeman, huh? Got enough policemen. Jim, you owe me $40. I'll pay you when we collect the ransom. These may look like a yellow sponge with shaving cream, but they sure taste good. Yeah, 
I raised my kids on junk food. Didn't do them a bit of harm. Boy, they were lucky. This is the best breakfast I have ever had. I think I could use some more root beer. Oh, sure. Guys, I think we should look over the book one last time to refresh our memories. No. No. Uh, Not again. Well, how about if I read, you guys just listen? Good. Oh, Chapter 12, page 109. The lookout was stationed strategically where he could both see them. Go ahead, Kel. I'm listening. Hey, you're okay. I'm glad you like me. <laughs> The lookout was stationed strategically where he could both see the house and make the phone call. Oh, I will. And you be careful, too, Mom. Oh, a piece of cake. All I need to do is keep my eyes open, make a couple of phone calls. Right. You know, it, it's really fun doing this caper with you. You're doing a good job, son. I'm proud of oh, you. Oh, thanks. It's like you always told me. It's, it's careful planning and staying right on top of the situation. Do you remember which way it is back to the farmhouse? Right. Uh -huh. More like his father every day. Lovejoy, you mind if I take a couple of these uh, for Alice? Okay, that's them. Now just pick up the phone and say, yeah. Hello? Uh, is this Sir uh, Herbert Lovejoy? Speaking. Okay, Herb. Uh, this one of the kidnappers. Yeah, one of the kidnappers. How's my son? Um, he's fine. Now, I want to be sure. I do everything in order. Uh, just hang in there a minute, her. Okay. She said, hold on. I'm getting there. Now, where was I? You wanted to kidnap us. Okay, that's right. Okay. Uh, uh, do you have the money? Uh, I do. In a suitcase? Right. Now, uh, I want you to get in the car with the money. Uh, use the Lincoln limousine. What Lincoln? I don't have a Lincoln. I own a caddy. Oh, oh should be a Lincoln. Okay. Uh, I'll pencil that in later. Use the caddy. Yeah. Now, where do I meet you? Now, uh, take the caddy and drive to the Garden State Parkway. The what? No, wait. That's New Jersey. Here, wait a minute. I got it uh, written in the uh, margin. Uh, Highway 80. Highway 80. To where? To where? Uh, don't worry about to where. Just you and the missus get on it and drive uh, west. Is, uh, wait a minute. Thought my page is... Uh, whoop. Oh, bull. Say what? Uh, oh, no, no, not you, Herbie. Uh, you just uh, get on Highway 80. Okay, that's it. Highway 80, let's go. Wait a minute. She said just me and the missus. She did, did she? She did. Okay. That's the best I've felt all day. Might be good to know about stuff like that. Boy, I feel a lot 
lot better if you weren't around. The book says we should have left you at the farmhouse. You couldn't. I would have escaped and you would have been out of half a mil. In the book, you were tied up. I blame May. She wouldn't let us tie you up. Yeah, she's a softie. Next job, we leave her at home. <laughs> This is stupid. Not if it's done with taste. He should pass you at 15 minutes. Hang on a minute. Oh, darn it, my pages fell out. Well, just reach down and pick them up. Oh. Yeah. Just think, John, in a few minutes, a suitcase with half a million dollars is gonna be falling from that overpass right into my arms. Yeah, Money well. from heaven. You know, the first thing I'm gonna do with my share of the money, I'm gonna buy me a Rolls Royce. Yeah, why? I just wanna see the expression on that cop's face when they pull me over and find out it's really mine. All I wanna do is give him the money and get my boy back. No funny stuff. Please, Herb, do I tell you how to sing, huh? Oh. driving a race. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get my mind off of this stuff. Here they come. Excuse me. Excuse us. Excuse us now. I gotta use the phone. We'll just be a second now. We're all through, ma'am. Okay. I mean, we're... you can have it, you know, as soon as I'm finished with it. Good day now, here. professional and clever outfit here. They're right on top of this thing, every step of the way. You think I look better as a blonde? Oh, I love you as a brunette. Not you, you moron! <laughs> yeah, I want to call a mobile unit in a private car. Turkey Ranch in Texas. Hey, oh, hold on, Kimball. Who ever heard of riding a turkey? <laughs> Listen, did I ever tell you about the time I had to disguise myself as a turkey? No. Well, I was hired to go at this masquerade party. Yeah? It didn't work out too good. How come? The place was held up by two chickens and a pilgrim. Walker? Huh? Don't ever tell me that story again. Right. Is that a semi in front of me? I was thinking, 
if this all works out, in a few years we could write a book about it and make even more money. There is a book about it, dummy. We're using it. Oh. Oh, yeah. You could change it around a little, have the crooks get caught. Hey, that's a good idea. Ah, <laughs> uh, shut up. Oh. I don't care. Keep trying. I can't call back. It's an emergency. Kimball, keep up the good work. I love it. Hmm. I now own a pet cemetery with its own miniature golf course. You'll buy just about anything, won't you? Oh, just about. How about a nice-looking lady's watch? Hundred bucks. It's my wife's watch. Oh, okay, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? Let me see that. Huh. Hello. What the hell are you doing on the stupid phone? Who is this? Who is this? The goddamn kidnappers. It's the goddamn kidnappers. Hitler, where? Where? <laughs> about the phone if you only told me. Listen, where are you? Well, you told us to be Highway 80. Yeah, but where? Well, we're just passing Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain? You in hell? Oh, come back, come back. To where? Just a minute. I need a map. Look, just stay off the dumb phone and I'll call you again. Gotcha. Maurice, turn around and go back the other way, right now. What's wrong? Oh, don't be such babies. First Pearl Harbor, now this. Yeah, it'll cost you a buck. A buck? They used to be free. Well, you should have got one then. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, okay. Sorry. It's taking too long. Something's wrong. I don't like it. I'm sure everything's okay, John. No, I think John's right. Something has gone wrong. I don't like the way this is going at all. Now, if it was up to me, I would have gone a whole different route. What are you talking about? I would have gone after some jewels or a painting or, or something with a little bit more pizzazz. What do you guys need with kidnapping? 90% of the kidnappers get caught anyway. And you got to worry about feeding the kids, seeing he gets to bed on time, seeing he doesn't catch cold. And meanwhile, you get a negative image and the whole world hates you. But... Rip off something like the Maltese pumpkin, and you become a legend. A kid's got a good head on his shoulders. You know, John, I'd love to steal something like the Maltese falcon someday. Can we make that our next job, huh? Hey, you're really a bright kid. Maybe when you get a little older, you and me could pull a couple of jobs. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see how this one goes first. Okay, this is real simple, so don't mess up. Look, if you told me earlier you wanted to contact me on this phone, I wouldn't have tied it up. Oh, sure. So you and the cops could have set up some sort of trap. I don't mind telling you now I'm starting to worry. If you're worried, why don't you go up there and take a look? It's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> right. And if you can find a store, uh, give me some candy bars, potato chips, and a Pepsi. When I go down the tubes, I go down the tubes. A note in the bottle? Why don't you just tell me what the note says and then I won't have to go get it? Look, don't argue with me, okay? Just go get the bottle where I told you it was. Okay. <sighs> got to go find a note in a bottle next to a historical landmarker. A, histor a historical landmarker? We passed that. Maurice, hang on you. Great. Damn, it's the cops. 
they'll screw everything up. Huh? Maurice, lose them! Right! Yeah. Oh, boy. Bottle. Look at here. Come to Papa. Come. Grace, let me handle this. License and registration, please. Hi, handsome. Listen, uh, why don't we forget this little incident? After you get off work, I'll see that you have a real good time. License, registration, and dog tag. Now, look here, Now, officer. you stay out of this, ugly. Ugly? What do you mean, I'm ugly? What's the problem? What's the problem? I'll tell you what the problem is. You cops have no respect for decent women. Decent women? You small town hussy. Small town? Small town? You call out to a small town, you piece of fly crap? I found you it. cops are worse than the SS. Huh? As a matter I of found fact, the you're the Marine Corps. Got the note. Well, that may be a little bluff. You got a lot of balls, lady. He knows. May a camel lose his lunch on Eric Estrada! the next overpass, drop suitcase over to the road below, then drive on. Oh no, it's a trap! You guys, it's a trap! It's a... Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute! Hold it, my rights! What about my rights? 
You have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right, you are the Good chase. <laughs> I just wish I could see it. What are you doing? About 55. So far, we haven't broken any laws. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, what? It's the cops. I'm Florida. Now you're talking violence. Yeah! Woo! I hate this. Aw, oh, too bad. I was going to ask you if we could do this again tomorrow. <laughs> stop at a gas station. I think I'm cost sick. my resignation. What am I gonna do? I lost my boy. I know how you feel, Herb. One of my tits is missing. Your pop's lucky I'm a decent guy or there could be a lawsuit. It's all here, $500,000. I can't wait till tomorrow comes. The sooner I say goodbye to this joint, the better. Now why don't we just give the kid back today? Because the book says tomorrow. You drop me off in the middle of town with only a bus token. Besides, it's better to stick to the book. Right. Uh, daytime is safer anyway. A lot of weirdos running around this city at night. Yeah, but the least we could do is to call his folks and let them know everything came out all right. You know, you're an okay bunch. You've been considerate, and kind, and you've actually shown me a pretty darn good time. And since this is going to be our last night together, why don't you bring back some uh, pizza, some Coke, and... Uh, some fresh fries. Get it. We're loaded. What a kid. Yeah, most kids that age are very selfish. Even my son, he was. Well, he's special. Very special. That's nice of you to say. Thanks a lot. Thanks a whole lot. That's it. That's it. I'm selling the entire detective agency tomorrow. Come on, Herb. Don't be a poor sport. Poor sport? Poor sport? I now have a police record, thanks to you. I got it. Hello. Alice? Did you get him? You got him? You got my sweet cakes? No, no, no. Don't surround the house now. Wait till tonight. We want to make sure they're all asleep. That way the boy won't be in danger. Right. You know where they are. They were professionals, all right. But sooner or later, they had to make one mistake. And now, they have made it. They didn't get rid of the suitcase. I don't understand. I bugged it. They're in a farmhouse 20 miles from here. I got it. Hello? Hi, Mom. It's me, Jimmy. Jimmy? My little Jimmy? Yeah, Mom. Me. 
killed him. Sugar face, puffin' ears. My little ginger snap. Right. Hi, Mom. Hi. Are you all right? Are they treating you okay? Yeah, Mom. It's been a trip. I ate Big Macs and Twinkies and read comic books and drove a car 80 miles an hour. And tonight we're going to have pizza and play games. You sure this is my little snuggle puss? Yeah, Mom. It's me. And don't worry. I'll see you and Dad tomorrow. Oh, and another thing. Yes? When I get home, I want to go to the circus. Bye, Mom. Bye. Okay, muffin ears. Hop in. See why we don't go in now and get this thing over with. Because in the morning we'll have better light to work with. Well, if we're going to go in in the morning, why don't we just follow in the radio truck and when they drop the kid off, pick him up? And that's what everyone told Walker. But he said it's too easy. He loves a challenge, the ninny. Can't we leave it, Ma? I get enough to carry as it is. In case we get caught, I like to watch TV in the cell. Mm. I told you this would happen. I promise you, John, next time it'll be easier. Just get in there. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. Hmm. Okay. Wonder who I'm gonna pin this one on. The last ten miles, these pigs were starting to smell better. I hate Kel. I hate him. Hey guys, watch your step. Uh, mm. You know, that was degrading. Uh, Downright degrading. 
John, you gotta learn to approach these jobs with a sense of humor. It's hard to laugh when you're sitting in pig poo. Right. Well, I guess this is where we say goodbye, kid. Yeah. Here's the token for the bus. That'll take you downtown. Be careful. Don't talk to strangers. I won't. Well, I guess this is it. So long, May. Bye. Goodbye, Kel. Bye. Mrs. Bye. Kel. So long, John. I guess this has really been an experience. Yeah, for us, too. I'm really gonna miss you. We'll drop your line from Mexico. You know, something good always comes from everything. Being with the four of you, I've discovered something about myself. I guess I was a loner most of my life, but that was my own fault. I chose to be a loner. You treated me like an ordinary kid, and I found out I really enjoy people. So my life's going to change. I'm sure of it. What I'm trying to say is, maybe you ought to think about whether or not you made the right decisions for your lives, too. Well, bye. Bye. Oh, and uh, look, um, think about what I said. And don't feel bad how things turned out. Everything really works out for the best. You bet. So long, kid. Bye. Bye. I didn't understand a word he said, but he came across nice. He's the first kid I like better than my sonny. Well, that's nice to hear, Ma. There's our bus. Oh, yeah. Give me a hand. Yo, hold it! Imagine that kid helping us get away with his father's own money. Yeah, that's my kind of kid. I know. I just wonder what he meant by telling us not to worry about how things turn out. Well, maybe it was because we were separating. He really liked us, and we really liked him. <laughs> now we're never gonna see each other again. No, no, no. Seemed like there was something else involved. Something uh, that was uh, outside of us. What else could it be, John? I mean, what is there? There's him, there's us, and there's the su suitcase. No, 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 Where's no, no! Money? It's no. gone! No! Mm. Hey, I can't take the money! He left us all his books! Call the cops! Call the cops, will ya? Sonny would never work from a book. Sonny can't read. I wish you could read. How's he gonna do his homework with Daddy's books? Hey, maybe there's a reward out for us. We could turn ourselves in and make a fortune. Have you ever thought about running away from home? Hey, kid. Want to buy a used raincoat? No, thanks. Hey. Come over here. Aren't you Jimmy the Kid? Yeah. I'm Harry Walker, Private Eye. I just I didn't say anything, but I have the ransom money. Well, of course you have the ransom. You have the ransom money? <sighs> now look, kid. There's nobody around. The cape is over. You can tell me. How did you do it? You see this book? Yeah. I wrote it. Of course. 